Hello everyone uh, and welcome. My name is Sarah Heaney and I am Membership Executive at Glasgow Chamber of Commerce. But today I am here with my SWIB member hat on um, and normally this sort of time of year we would have an AGM and we would do a proper official handover of presidency between Debbie and Tracy and we would have a big long speech from Debbie and we would have a big long speech from Tracy. <laughs> So we've decided today to cut all that out and just have a bit more of an informal chat and get to know our past president and future president. You've obviously heard my speeches before, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so well, I suppose we'll start off with uh, you, Debbie. Uh, you've had quite a different presidency from most of the other <laughs> presidents. Um, so tell us a little bit about kind of lead web through a pandemic. <laughs> yeah, so it sounds it sounds quite um, grand when you say it like that, doesn't it? Um, no, it's been a, a very different year. I mean, for everyone, obviously across the world. Um, but I think for Swiv, um, given that most of our kind of business, if you like, or most of our activity is with meeting people um, at events and things, um, it was a massive change for us to you know all of a sudden we've got a kind of events calendar set up for the year then all of a sudden we can't meet anyone in person so we had to change very quickly um, and kind of refocus and regroup um, and take everything digitally which wasn't something we'd ever done before and not something we're experts in so it was um it's definitely been different it's been a different year lots of challenges but I think as well, it's kind of um, opened us up um, and gave SWIB in particular lots of opportunities. I mean, now we've got members from Shetland and Aberdeen and stuff, and we wouldn't have had that before because of the physicality of having events, you know, in Glasgow or in the kind of one place. Um, so actually, it's not it's not been all doom and gloom. There's lots of um, learnings from it. And I think the committee, um, you know, full credit to, to everyone in the committee. I think we've all really managed to... Um, work with that change and it's not really phased us too much but I think um it kind of really showed it and as well if you think about it everyone on that committee is going through their own experience of the pandemic so furlough homeschooling you know uncertainty so the amount of work we had to put into kind of turn swim around almost um was, was quite a lot so it's been um yeah it's been challenging but also quite good at the same time and I mean, what about yourself, Tracy? Was was there a particular challenge that you felt that you faced in the last year? Um, I think probably given that the, the handover between Debbie and I should have happened in September, that's something that wasn't really an inviting prospect at that time because we were still at that. I think we've been through quite a lot of what do we do digitally and you know how do we position ourselves? And I think we were by that time, we were really... I don't know if Debbie would agree, probably just getting into our flow. We had really been through the hardest part of it. And I think we were just getting there and it just didn't feel like the right thing to do to then just all of a sudden change just for the sake of it. So I think that was a difficult decision for both of us. But I think when, I can't remember who came up with it, but when we spoke about it, it just felt absolutely like the right thing to do. Um, so that was... I think that would have been a real challenge if we had handed over, but the way that it's turned out, um, it's actually, you know, we were in quite a good position and I think we've kept the momentum going. We've got a good calendar of events and we've, we've got new members and everything's going really, you know, quite positively. But what that gave me the opportunity to do was try and think, okay, what things do we want in place for when we do hand over? Probably a lot of back office things. People might have noticed new payment methods and just trying to make things a little bit easier to manage and slicker because you never know what the next year is going to bring. We've all been looking forward to 2021, but maybe it'll be 2022 we should be looking forward to. You just never yeah. know. So we've been really trying just to get ourselves in a really good position. So... I think we kind of overcame the challenges um, at that time. Yeah, and actually, we might have came up with that decision, Tracy, over a couple of glasses of wine <laughs> over Zoom. One night. Probably, it was definitely a Zoom session, and there, yeah, I think there will be some gin there. <laughs> <laughs> and so, Tracy, what do you think you're most excited about as becoming president? Um, I think just following on from what I was saying there, we've, I think we've overcame a lot of the challenges. And I think that 
you know, a few months ago, everyone would have been saying, you know, at this time, we'd be looking forward to meeting people again and getting into face-to-face -face events and setting things up the way that we did. But actually, I think the most exciting thing for me now is to keep the momentum going and what we've got and to get in place um, really good consistency and knowing what people want from events because I think people have changed what they want from online over the last year. I think early on everybody was just jumping into anything because maybe they weren't working or they didn't know what, what their future looked like and now I think people kind of know what they want or what they need. So I'm excited about um, keeping going with what we've got with the events that we've got on, on the go now and, and bringing more of that and, and more benefits to the members, which is sometimes quite difficult when it's an online presence that we've got. So that's, that's definitely what we'll be working on. Yeah, I would say the, the same. I mean, obviously, Glasgow Chamber is a membership organisation as well. And I think trying to make, again, everything that's relevant digital is, is really difficult when, like Debbie said, you know, the importance of connections is just so vital. But I, I think it is something that has pushed us all forward digitally probably about five, six years in a matter of months. Definitely. And so when we do get back to some sort of normality, I don't think the digital side of things is going away completely, yeah. you know? So, I mean, Debbie, what, what would you consider to be something almost like, I don't want to use the word legacy, but uh, what do you think your legacy has been? Um, that's quite a big word, isn't it? It's quite a big <laughs> um, I think, um, I guess something I'm quite proud of, um, and you know, as Tracy said, we extended the term of being president. It's normally a year. Um, and that's kind of, ha that's a historical thing with SWIB that's happened. And it kind of felt, you know, we were at that place where I would not have felt comfortable handing over to anyone um, in a state of, you know, panic. You know, it was a kind of a, at that point, it was like, yeah, we kind of know what we're doing, but, you know, people were kind of going, well, by Christmas, we'll be fine, or, or this will happen. So I think um, something that I've really liked over that time is the, the term gave me a bit longer to try and implement some of that change because everything felt quite reactive at the start of the year. Um, so when I took over as president and, you know, kind of in conjunction with Tracy, we had a plan in place of what we wanted to do together over the course of the next couple of years to make sure SWIB changed and became more modern. Um, and that was very much a focus of mine, um, you know, of kind of deciding to, you know, be vice president, then president, and what do I want to do? Because you want that that time to be meaningful. You don't want it just to be something you do every so often. Um, it's, you know, it's quite a lot of stuff compacted into a shortish space of time. So to have a bit more time to be able to make sure some of that change was in place and happening and kind of set some of it up really for Tracy to be able to, you know, take to the next stage um, from, from next month when she takes over was really important. Um, and I think when you're the person that's leading change or driving change, it doesn't always make you the most popular. You know, not everyone wants the change to happen. Some people, you know, and as well, when you're on a committee, not everyone's privy to those discussions that are happening around why we're looking to change or what's happened. Um, but everything we've done has been informed by the members. You know, it's kind of, it's been asked for or spoken about um, and out of kind of driving that piece of, I like to call it kind of modernization, then all these other things have happened. So we've got a digital membership now, as Tracy said, we can pay differently and structure things differently to be a little bit more flexible. Because I think the way SWIB was um, maybe set up wasn't that flexible. Um, and there is a legacy that comes with that, that takes um, a bit of doing to kind of move past that and change. Um, so I think that's probably the thing I'd like to look back on most and, and feel that I've contributed to. Great. And, and so I'm conscious of time. I don't want to take up too much more of either of your times. But Tracy, is there any sort of parting words or anything that you'd like to say to Debbie as the outgoing president? Oh, God, I wasn't prepared for that. I am actually a very emotional person, believe it or not. So I'll try not to cry. <laughs> Um, I, I don't know, I just think, uh, obviously a massive thank you because I, you know, we've worked really well together, we've enjoyed it, it's a shame that, you know, it wasn't the year that we thought we were going to have, but I think we've done great, I think you've done great, and you should be really, one of the other things you should be really 
counting as one of your legacies is the members that we've got and the following we've got outside Glasgow, which is, I don't know what it's been like, you know, in the past before I joined SWIB, but it's massive and I think that's that's a great achievement. So, and I know that that was something that you wanted when you came in. So even though the year completely changed, you still managed to tick a box that you had planned to. So that, that's amazing. Um, and as I say, a massive thank you because we did have that extra sort of few months between when the president president should have handed over. Um, I focused on trying to you know streamline some things, and Debbie has got us set up with some great events and everything to give me a massive head start, and that's amazing to to come into. So, thanks for that, and thanks for you. Oh, thanks, thanks for not crying. I'm like, <laughs> I'm <laughs> <out of it. laughs> I think um, it is that kind of. You know, I think SWIB's set up in a way that the committee work really well together and the president and vice president work really quite closely. And, um, you know, I think that's very true for Tracy and I over the last um, the last term. Um, and I think that it's really important that the people that work together share the same vision and want to do the same thing. And I know we're not running um, Google or something like that. Either. We know where we are, but we know where we want to be. And we want to make sure that's the best it can be. Um, and so does everyone on the committee. Um, and I think as well, you know, I'm not going to leave the committee. I'm going to stay on the committee for the next couple of years to support Tracy, um, you know, and to make sure that, <laughs> and to make sure that, you know, that consistency is there. Um, and, you know, I might not be as active as I have been for a couple of months, maybe take a wee break. <laughs> um, I think, you know, it's important that it's not one of those things, you know, I would never just leave at the end of a term. It's one of those things you're committed to or you're not. Um, and this is, I think, my fourth year um, being member of SWIB, it'll be third year in the committee. Um, and I think you want to kind of make sure that that's all seen through. So, so no, um, it's, been a, it's been a pleasure. It's been difficult at times. Um, There's been lots of learning personally for me. Um, and, you know, I hope Tracy gets out of as much of it out of it that I have. Yeah, I mean, so I was going to say, have you got any parting words for Tracy? <laughs> but that's pretty much summed it up, I think. Um, so, I mean, on behalf of the members, I'd like to thank you, Debbie, as well, for your leadership. And Tracy, welcome. And uh, we're very excited to have you as our new leader. Um, and I look forward to working with you both and the rest of the members again very soon. Great.